Over the last few years of being a reseller, there is one thing I've learned is absolutely crucial if you want to have a successful business. For me, it's been huge and I'm not sure that I'd still be in business if I didn't put this into my everyday life. I can guarantee if you were to implement this in your life and in your everyday life as a reseller, you're going to see some success. The thing that I'm talking about that is absolutely crucial, in my opinion, is to have some sort of routine. Since I implemented an actual routine into my everyday life, my business has grown leaps and bounds. And I think overall, most people will really benefit from having at least some kind of routine. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to share with you exactly my routine or what works for me. I do the exact same thing every single morning that I get up. And obviously, you don't have to follow mine to an exact T but it's a routine that I've found to be quite useful for me. And it's a similar structure to what a lot of other people use as well. So make sure you stick around for that. But why is a routine so important? Well, I've come up with a few reasons as to why I reckon a routine is so important when you're running a reselling business or any business for that matter, or even just in your everyday life. A routine is fantastic. I used to have one when I went to school. One reason I think a routine is important is because it, it keeps a flow. It gives you some sort of flow to your work. You, you know what you're going to be doing at what point in the day and you know sort of roughly what you're going to be looking at at what time. It allows you to tackle one thing at a time and that way you're not all squirrel brain trying to do a million different things at once. You know what you're doing at a certain time and honestly I'll be honest my routine I don't have like 11 o'clock I'm going to do this 12 o'clock I'm going to do this it's just I do everything in an order and that is more than enough you don't have to have everything done at one time that's the beauty of being self-employed another reason I think having a routine is so important is because it stops procrastination and distractions I know when I first got full-time I was thinking I'm not going to let anything stop me I'm going to have a perfectly structured lifestyle and I'm going to do this work no matter what and what ends up happening if you don't have any kind of structure you might do a set of photos and be like oh I'm going to sit down for a minute and just just have a break and mind you having a break is a great thing but you might be like oh i'm just gonna watch an episode of this show on netflix next thing you know you're looking up three or four hours later and you're still sitting on the couch and all of a sudden you've got nothing done for that day and you'll think oh you know that's okay mate i'll just get it done tomorrow and then same thing happens you get some photos done you don't do the listings oh i might go sit down and watch another episode of my show while well, having a routine it allows you to sort of front load all of that work and then you can just you can do that stuff later in the day once all of your work is done since i've implemented it i haven't had nearly as many distractions and i've got at least twice the amount of work done as i was before the next big reason is because it actually makes you go faster over time if you're doing certain things in a certain order each day it's going to become second nature and you are just going to go and you're going to smash out those tasks you're going to take photos quicker you're going to list quicker you're just going to do everything quicker because everything's not all over the place everything's organized and you know exactly what you're doing now to me this next point is one of the biggest reasons and that's because the reality is a lot of people are i guess employees by nature and that's not a dig that's not saying anything of course those people can still be excellent business owners but the reality is a lot of people like the structure of a nine to five they like the structure of a normal job now i like having a bit more of a free flowing routine i do obviously have a routine a rough schedule of what i do that's what this whole video is about but i don't need everything to be done you know set out for me i can do it as i as i need to i sort of know what needs to be done and when it needs to be done a lot of people when they go out on their own is they really struggle with not having any structure and that's where distractions like i said before like netflix and all that kind of thing come into play you're your own boss you've got no one telling you what to do but if you can hold yourself to some sort of routine that will give you some structure and that will allow you to get a lot more work done and be more efficient. You're your own boss. That's what we always say. You want to be your own boss. You got to actually be a boss then. You got to you got to have some sort of structure. And having a routine of some kind really allows you to get that. Now this one's more actually uh reselling related absolutely for sure. The reality is is that eBay especially, but other platforms like Depop Poshmark was like that as well, but mainly eBay, they really, really enjoy consistency. The platforms enjoy seeing consistent listings, consistent sales, consistent value going up in your store. They love consistency. If you're not giving it that consistency, you're going to probably struggle. If you go and you list a heap on one day and then you don't list for a week because you just you're getting distracted or you're doing a heap of other stuff or whatever, not having that consistency, eBay will probably punish you and not in a bad way. I guess per se but you probably won't get as many sales as you would if you consistently did the same thing every day now a great tool is actually scheduling ahead listings and stuff like that that will really allow you to sort of have a bit less pressure on your back 
But if you have a routine and you say, okay, roughly I'm going to do 10 a day, I'm going to do 20, 30 listings a day, you're going to do that stuff as part of your daily routine. In turn, eBay is going to reward you for that. You're going to be consistent. eBay is going to reward you with consistent impressions, consistent sales, and therefore you're going to have more consistent money coming into your bank account, which that's the name of the game overall. Now, this last one might be a little bit oh yeah, on the nose. I mean, you might think I'm being a bit of a knob, but the reality is if you don't put in the work in your business yourself, that work won't get done. Nobody is going to do it for you. And if that's the case, if you're just sitting on the couch because you don't have any structure or any routine, you'll fail. That's the reality of it. If you don't put in the work, if you don't put up those listings, you don't take those photos and you don't ship those items, you will fail and you will not have a successful reselling business. It might sound harsh, but that's the reality of it. Having a routine, having a schedule will really allow you to be able to be much more dependable. Not dependable for other people, but you can depend on yourself and it really helps you keep, once again, it comes back to that structure, really helps you stay consistent and it will basically act as a fail safe. I'm not saying you're absolutely going to succeed if you have a routine, but it will stop you from being inconsistent and it'll stop you from never getting any work done that you really need to get done. All right, now you know the reasons as to why having a routine is so important in everyday life, whether you're a reseller or not. I'm going to quickly run you through my personal routine. You might be able to take some things from it. You might not be able to, but now you can sort of see what a daily life looks like for me. So on a typical morning, I'll wake up. That's usually the start of most people's days. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping it continues to be the first part of my day is that I keep waking up. But once I wake up, the first thing I do is I get out of bed and I fill myself up a massive glass of water. That's one little thing you don't really think about, but having a big glass of water really sort of gets your body going. It starts everything processing i don't know how it works but it's made a massive difference i don't feel as sluggish i don't feel as tired and i feel ready to work after i've drank my big old glass of water or bottle sometimes i'm my nickname in school used to be a goldfish in primary school because i used to drink so much water uh but the next thing i do is i go and have a shower that sort of once again it invigorates the body gets you going and you're just ready to start the day after that i make myself some breakfast previously it used to be some toast and stuff but now i barely even eat breakfast but when i do i typically make an omelet or bacon and eggs or something like that of course if you watch my last video it's got to be carnivore friendly then while i'm having my breakfast i'd have a big old mug of coffee obviously i can't do that anymore i could coffee can be part of the diet but i'm not actually having coffee this time because i don't like it without sugar and yeah so i'm just gonna drop it Simple as that. But breakfast, coffee, they're usually the daily essentials. Once I polished all that off, it becomes work time. And whatever time this is, that's the beauty of being self-employed is you can do it at any time. That part of your day could start at midday if you wanted to, but that's only if you sleep in and work late at night. Obviously, you've got to hold yourself accountable. You don't want to sleep all day and then it's night time and then you decide it's too late to do any work. But the first thing I do when it comes to anything business related is I tend to any customer issues. I remove any feedback or I'll try to remove any feedback if I have any poor feedback, which I've been really lucky with lately. Knock on wood, hopefully I'll keep it that way and don't get too many. But I'll spawn some messages, I'll send some offers, I'll go through and make sure I delist anything that's sold overnight. I'll just get all that customer service, all the back end stuff done. Next off, I do my shipping. And what I tend to do, and you'll probably notice is a theme, is I obviously do the things that I don't really enjoy doing that much. I try and front load that because then once that stuff's done, I can sort of enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy the work that I do for the rest of the day. So shipping is the next thing. I package up all the packages that need to be done. I get them all mailed up, get them all put in the bag and get them ready to take to the post office. And then you betcha, the next step, I drive off to the post office. I drop off, I say good day to my friends at the post office and I keep trucking along. So there is a thrift store on the way home. I typically don't go to it just because it's not really part of my routine at the moment. It comes a little bit later once all the really important stuff's done. Once shipping's done, I come straight home and I get stuck into photography. Photography, I don't really like doing it. A lot of people don't mind doing it, but I'm primarily a clothing seller and it gets a bit boring. So I don't mind it too much, but typically I'll put up a big YouTube video up on my screen and I'll just get stuck into it. I'll photograph as many photos as I can, as many items as I can until I get sick of it. The more I've got there, the less I sort of have to do a little bit later. So I just try and knuckle out as much as I can. I usually have a big box behind me and I set that up. And once that gets empty, then I'm done my photography. After that, I'll waddle my way straight over to my chair and I transfer all the photos. 
I remove the backgrounds and then I get stuck in a listing. Obviously those items I've just photographed, that's not the end of the process. If I don't list them, then I don't get to sell them. So the sooner I can get those listed or at least scheduled up, if I've got some stuff going on the next day, then I can absolutely make sure I get them up and that part of the day is done. I actually really like listing. So this part is where my day starts getting good. Once I've done my photography, once I've got my listing done, if I've got no other items to list or I'm starting to get to a point where, you know, I, I like to manage my stock. I like to have some sort of a, a death pile, more of a back stock of items really, but I tend to either go back and do some more photography if I didn't get as many done as I'd like or if it's earlier in the afternoon. But if that's the case, what I'll do then is I will go sourcing. That'll either be online, I'll have a chat with some of my suppliers and sort of get the next week's stock organized, or I'll go out to the thrift stores. Now, typically, if I wanna go out thrifting, I'll usually alter my routine just a little bit. On a, for a typical day, I'll usually have two days a week where I'll go out in the morning. That, that's what I'll do after my breakfast. I'll go straight out to the op shops, the early bird gets the worm, and I'll get that done. But on a typical day, I'll prioritize all the other stuff because Thrifting, it's not a big part of my business. I get most of my stuff through through wholesale, private picks, all that kind of thing. Uh, so I don't really need to go thrifting that much. But if I'm running a bit low or, you know, it's a bit earlier in the day than I wanted to, then I'll go out thrifting. But other than that, I'll either get my next lot of wholesale all teed up and ready to go, or I'll do some online sourcing. After that, the work day is usually done. Uh, it's usually done sort of around five, six o'clock. If it's not, I'll just keep working. But after that, we got to do dinner. And of course, dinner for me lately, carnival, steak, mince, eggs, and butter. That's it. It's all I have and a big old glass of water. Water is very important. Make sure you keep up your water. But get that dinner done, get that all ready, and you're done. And then after that, it's typically sort of wind down time before the next day. And I'll sort of just enjoy the rest of my night. If I'm falling behind on anything, then what I'll do is I'll make sure that I do go back and do a bit of work. But typically, I'll spend a bit of time with my fiance. I'll go and I'll do something else. I'll go for a walk. I might kick the footy, all that kind of thing. Or like tonight, I'll actually go to the footy. I'm heading off to Essendon versus Sydney, which if you're at my jumper. Yeah, it's the wrong game. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. Uh, yeah, I did uh, go to the wrong game. I didn't really. My best mate, he goes for Essendon. Uh, so I went there, hang out with him. And I just enjoy footy. So we go on to that game. Um, and then the following week, I am actually going to St Kilda versus Carlton. So that is going to be... Very fun, but I'm going to go at work, getting it done nice and early, and having a routine, once again, will allow you to have a bit more time to do the things you really love alongside running a successful business. So there you have it. That's my rough routine, and that's what I do every single day to ensure that my business keeps trucking along exactly how I want it to. Let me know down in the comments, have you guys got a routine? If not, why not? And does that work for you? Uh, but if you don't have a routine, maybe give it a crack. Have a look and see if you can give yourself a little bit more consistency and, and let me know how that goes. And if you do have a routine, definitely let me know sort of what it is and, and how that's going for you. But I really hope you did find the video interesting and helpful, guys. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys in the very next video.